We have an awesome video for you tonight, so I need those thumbs ups and subscribe if you haven't already because we had an awesome epic box of Just Price Vinyl Records and they were so awesome, you're gonna love it. And we did a, our Jimi Hendrix review of the record. It was so great, you have to check that out and a lot of other really cool stuff. And you gotta go check out spinrailstore.com. Yeah, leave me some comments. What? Yes. You know something? What? I'm knocking prices down on spinmeroundstore.com. Down to the basement. Thumbs up. So you all wanted her to uh, open up this brand new Jimi Hendrix. And are we going to do a review? Yes. Here you go. I'm so excited. You did win that poll, by the way. I did? Yes. So the people actually want to see it. They do? I'm so Are you excited? excited? Yes. Brand new record. It's alive. He was live. He was live. He was live. 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 He was live. At Berkeley. In 1970. Mmm. Mm. Very nice, very nice inner sleeves. Yes, yes. Very nice. Quality record pressings. I like it. I do too. What's the, what's the actual? Nice, not bad. Is it 2LP? Yes, it is. Is it a gatefold? Yes, it is. All right, so you got to open it, open it. Open it, open it. Store copy. You can rip it. Rip oh, no. it. Kind of hurts my heart to rip it, but mm. I want to see that. Was there a hype sticker? There is. Okay, you got to keep the hype sticker. I know. I'm a hype sticker snob. I actually love those. Ooh. There he is. It's a bad, bad man right there. How awesome. Take it from us way too early. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Yep. Second album, I would imagine, looks the same. Better yes, be on. it does. Oh! Okay, sleeve. now we gotta take them out of the sleeves yeah. because I bet we have four different Jimmy pictures now, on the labels. You guys are gonna have to listen to this and we're gonna do a review and we want your honest opinions, okay, buddy? Okay, okay. Yep. We want your honest opinions. So he was playing it with his teeth? Yeah. What? Or his tongue? Um, okay. I don't know. See? And what's the other side? I there he is. It. And then that. Okay. Nice. Very, very sauce. cool. All right, all right. Now, I need you guys to listen to it. And I want a solid review. Solid review. Solid. You're going to have to know one out of ten what you rate this record. Ten being the best, one being the worst. Got me? Yeah, and one being the worst of it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You understand the rules? Yeah. All right, you can put it on now. Hell yeah. Let's do so earlier today, I asked everybody here, except for you, because you came later, it's okay. to review this beautiful, wonderful masterpiece of an album by Jimi Hendrix, live. He was live at yeah. the Berkeley. What? 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 So, what did everybody think of this album? I really liked it. It was awesome. Amazing. I got a very important question, though. What's yeah. that? Was it store music? Yes, yes, it was. Everybody shopping enjoyed yep. it? Yep. Everybody yeah. shopping enjoyed it. You agree? Yeah. What about you? Of course. Huh? Yeah. All right. So it is store music, technically, yes, yes, right? Yes, definitely. Hmm. Now, do you have a favorite song on this album? Oh, I do. Yeah, what is it? Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. It was like what? the best Hey, Joe that I've ever heard by Jimi Hendrix. Interesting. Purple Haze, of course. Purple it's Haze. Like... Did you have a favorite song? <laughs> no favorite song? <laughs> all right, all right. Did you have a favorite song? Voodoo Child. Voodoo Child. Okay. What about you? Hey Baby. Hey Baby. Yeah. Interesting. Did you have a least favorite song on this album? It was not my favorite version of Foxy Lady. What? I gotta tell you, I did not. Foxy. I no? know. I did not enjoy this version of Foxy Lady. It was six minutes long, so maybe that's why. I mean... I, I love Jimi Hendrix as a vocalist. I love him as a guitarist. It, it was it was too slow. It, really? It was too slow. Too instrumental. Not enough vocals. Just not my not favorite for version. You. Not my favorite version. Did you have a least favorite song on this Pass album? Pass it on. I like the better with the studio recording. Pass it on. Yeah. Can I see the back, please? While I, before I continue. Let's see the lineup in here. Okay. There's Hey Joe. Nice. Interesting. Did you have a least favorite song? <laughs> okay. Okay, you loved it all, man. I love it. Did you have a least favorite song? Machine Gun. Machine Gun? 
What? <laughs> well, it was 11 minutes and 22 seconds. <laughs> oh, so you My thought it was... My attention span doesn't go that long. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay, Instagram. Instagram attention spans. Mm. Okay. Because you have a least favorite song. I also did not like Foxy Lady. Foxy. No? No, it was just wow. too slow. It yeah. did not have the normal Jimi Hendrix experience energy. Wow. Yes. Now, this is, this is going to be a very, very easy question. What? What genre do you think this album is? No, I don't know. Do you know what type of genre of the music this is? Rock. Huh? Rock. Huh? Yeah, it's, there's some blues rock and some psych rock. Definitely rock. Definitely typical Jimmy, right? Yeah. Rock? Yeah. I want to rock! <laughs> Classic rock. rock. <laughs> is this record what you expected when while you were unboxing it or opening it? No, it was not what I expected. It was even better. Really? Yes, I was completely amazed. What about you? Yeah, that's why I expect to have uh, Jimmy Hendrix. It was live, they were live. All right, And all that's right. why I like it. What about you? Was it what you expected? Nah. No. Were you expecting harder? <laughs> Tougher music? No. Foxy. What? <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I liked it because it's live. So All it's right. totally what I expected. <sighs> I liked it because it was music, so of course I expected it. So you just like all music in general. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't, have, I don't have a difference. Love that. your answer very, very much. On a scale of 1 to 10, what do you grade this album? Boom! One to ten. <laughs> one to ten. Ten being the best, one being the worst. Three. What? Yes. Well, I mean, you don't no give Jimi Hendrix <laughs> no three. He's You're yeah, fired. He was telling me how she didn't like it. Yeah. yeah. At least he's honest. You just weren't a fan, right? Yeah, he's yes. not a fan of Jimi Hendrix. What? I give it an eight personally. The mailman's. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? One through ten, what do you agree with this album? A ten. I think every single person in the world needs this album in their collection. There's a reason for that. I will get to it when I go through my okay. facts. Okay. I give it an eight, but the only reason why I give it an eight, I was expecting more drug talk because it was Jimi Hendrix. I was just expecting more. <laughs> now, see, he, he really wasn't big on the drug talk. No, but it was just, you know, in the beginning, he was like, oh, we got to finish our joints. Yeah. Oh, you know. You know. I was expecting more. More hippie. You know. mm. more hippie. One through ten. This is a grateful day. Eight. Hey! Yeah, if you like hey, it's pretty drinks, great. you're gonna like the album. Okay, okay. One through ten. Seven. Seven? Yes. You know what I give this album? What? A nine! <laughs> It's point, a 10. Point 0.5. It's a 10. No, that's not a 10 for me, man. It is. It nope. is a 10. Yeah, so there's bad. Every single person needs this album in their collection. Are you experienced? 10. Just saying. All right. All right. Now, would you like to hear some facts that I have yeah. on yeah. Mr. Jimmy freaking Hendrix and yeah, his experience? Okay. All right. We're going to start off with Jimmy Hendrix facts first. Just a few. Okay. I mean, I'm sure most of the people who listen to this will probably already know most of these. But here goes nothing. First show was October 13th, 1966, at the Novelty in France. France, probably. Oh, oui, la oui, la. mon chéri. Oh la la. Mm. <laughs> the first recorded song was a cover of Hey Joe. Ah. Okay. Interesting, right? Mm -hmm. At age 27, Jimmy wrote 110 songs, even though some claim that the number is only around 50. Hmm. Wow. That's, that's what his uh, archives is saying. By age 27, he had wrote 110 songs, but other people were like, eh, it's more like 50. Eh, give or take. They were close, right? Yep. Something like that. Yeah. Unfortunately, on September 18, 1970, the experience of Jimmy ended abruptly under strange circumstances. Wah, wah, wah. Uh -huh. I got one more. Yes. All right, and this one, I, I skipped over it, but uh, <clears throat> one of Jimmy's biggest hits was a cover from Bob Dylan. All Along the Watchtower. I, I gotta say, Jimi Hendrix's version of All Along the Watchtower is so much better than Bob Dylan's, and Completely it feels like agree. sacrilege, but it's the truth. Well, it peaked at number 20 on the U.S. charts, and that was the highest peaking song he had in his career. Been number one. But he had a bunch of, of higher peaking albums, or higher peaking songs, in the U.K. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Now we're going to move on to... The live at Berkeley facts about all about the Jimi Hendrix experience. Okay. This album was from Jimi's second performance at the Berkeley Community Theater on May 30th, 1970. 
at 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it on there? That's the second show. Oh. Second show at 10 p.m. Now, Sean, didn't you point out an interesting fact on the front cover? I want to go VIP seating, all seats reserved, 550. I paid a whole 550. What? Absolutely. That's pretty cool. I'm just saying. Now, after this performance, there was drama. Drama? Drama for your mama. Oh, no. Within the experience with personnel changes. Oh, no. Yeah, that means there was definitely a conflict, you know. But there always was. For the show, Jimmy, oh, this this is why it's a little bit different. Okay. This is why this album is different from most Jimi Hendrix albums, believe it or not. And I noticed it because I was like, what? And maybe this is why Foxy Lady's a little bit off for you. For this show, Jimmy did not tune his guitar down a half a step like normal. Ah. So maybe right. that could be a reason why, right? Okay. Um, This album has gotten very mixed reviews from the critics. Some love it. Some hate it. Some think they could have done a better job. I, I think it was amazing. I'm just saying. I like this album a lot and look forward to more of these live shows getting released. That's and my personal it opinion. It really was like a live show, like the whole thing, because it was like a jam that you could barely differentiate when it went from song to song. Yes. And I forgot to show. Oh, nice. Very, so very. there is a booklet in there, too. There is a booklet. Okay, well, you know something about this album, right? What? It is going to be on SpinMeRoundStore.com. Yeah, on the front page. Right on the front page. Mm -hmm. For dirt cheap, I'm knocking this sucker all the way Ooh. down. Limited supply. Because I think we got like six copies in store. That's and we so really, cool. really like it. Yeah. So It's if, a solid really album. If you like our it review, is. and you're looking forward to hearing a new Jimmy album, even though it's pretty old now. I think it came out in 2014. Yeah, something like that. But, uh... 2012. 2012. It's epic. Yes. All right. No way. I got something for you. Here, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I can't help it. You don't know what that is. It's a limited edition remix. What makes it limited edition? Oh, no. Do you give up yet? <laughs> I'm going to mess your head up on this one. Is that side A or side B? That is side B. Now... The trick to this is to hold it up to the light at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Let's see if you can see it and I'm not going to tell you what it's supposed to be. So hold it up towards the light on a 45 degree angle. Nope, just side B. Oh. That is side that B. That is side B. Uh-huh. Hold it up to the light. No, not through the light. Let me see if I can get this. Not through the light. Like, on your hand, a platter. No, no. Other way, you fruit. That's side You're A You're killing now. me. To flip it. Now, hold it up towards the light. Out of 45, do you see it? Oh, wow. Do you know what it's supposed to be? Um. Let's see if it works, guys. Too bad you're not as short as I am. Mm, you ready? That is a limited edition wave pressing. I mean, I clearly see it, but. On a 45 degree angle, you're you supposed to be able to see a wave. Do you see the wave? Uh-huh. But super mega rare. Super ultra rare. It's one of the rarest Depeche Modes I've ever seen in my life. Short of Violator, of course, because that thing comes in and it... Goes right back out. Violator, man. Depeche Very Mode. Very nice. You're molting. You're molting. That's right. His skin's falling off. That's why he's rubbing up against this little log. He's shedding his coat. And he'll get another one. And maybe he'll be bright and beautiful. Right? Yep. Isn't that what happened to you? Aliens. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What? What are we doing now? We have here tonight's just prize final records. And they're awesome. They're so awesome. Do you know why they're so awesome? Why are they so awesome? Because they're freaking awesome. What? What you got? Wait a minute. Hold on. Yes. Stop the presses. Okay. This was in last night's video. I know, but you glossed over my whole story. You have a story. I have a whole story. About Furry. About Furry. Oh. Furry Lewis, who was born Walter in 1893, uh -huh. or around 1893, in Greenbrook, Mississippi, okay? And then they moved to Memphis, mm -hmm. okay? So he started playing all these instruments. He was so great. So he played at vaudeville shows, and he got paid $2 a day in, like, the late... Um, teens? The late teens and the early 20s. He was getting paid $2 a show which was really good 
at that time. And then the shows were over by like midnight. So then he did that whole speakeasy thing and he was playing there too. So we had a lot of fun, played a lot of music and he liked to, to ride on trains. What? He liked to jump on trains while they were moving. So in 1917, oh, geez, I see this is going bad quick. Yes, in 1917 <laughs> he missed, and the train rolled over him. Oh shit! Yes, and they thought that he was not going to make it, but he did. They just had to amputate his leg. So just one, just one. Okay, so we're for, doing good. For a yeah, very, but back then, yeah. that was a big deal. Procedures yep. were mm -hmm. brutal. Mm -hmm. They so, used hacksaws. For a very long time, he was performing with a prosthesis. Okay. Okay. Um, so. 1917 that happened 1920 he was doing all his vaudeville stuff by 1930 with the great depression he just wasn't making enough money as a musician so he had to retire okay from being a performing musician 1930 great depression everything great was screwed depression. up yep so he started working for the town of memphis okay. as like a handyman okay nice. so he worked as a handyman he got rid of his his guitars oh no instruments nothing like that Okay. He didn't even have a guitar. Didn't even have a guitar. No way. No guitar until 1959. 59? Yes, when he was rediscovered because they wanted him to record on the Folkways record label. Ah. Yeah, so he was one of the first musicians that they grabbed for this whole big blues renewal. One of the first musicians from the 20s. You know something? What? That is a freaking epic record right here. I know. I was super excited, and I was like a little disappointed that you glossed over my story, so I had to hijack. I am totally surprised and shocked that it is still here. In mm -hmm. fact, everybody go on YouTube right now and look him up. The guy's ridiculously talented. And we've got him on a comp too. And look, this was in his prime. Yeah, no, it's a great album. In his prime. Blues man, don't sleep on the blues. Nope. Nope. <sighs> nope. Not at all. Hell of a story. I'm glad mm -hmm. you remembered all of that. Mm -hmm. Wow. What's that? The Pesh Mode. The Pesh Mode. Don't you know something about the Pesh Mode? You like the Pesh Mode a lot. I love the Pesh Mode. Mm. They got their name from a French fashion magazine. Ooh la la. Say share. What? And that's freaking Violator. Mm. One of the hardest, coolest, greatest freaking albums from the Pesh Mode ever made. And it's an original. And it's freaking hard to find mm -hmm. at this point. You can't even get nope. reissues of this sucker nope. anymore. Mm -hmm. it's they hard. took it off like the charts. I guarantee you, they're going to come out with a new release in like a year or two. And it's going to be like $20 more. Of course, okay, man. That's that. what he, they do. Uh, they do that. <sighs> oh, I got shown up with this earlier. Yeah, with this limited edition remix, Depeche Mode. Yeah, with the wave. And we got another Depeche Mode. Behind the wheel on Route 66. Ooh. That's a good one. Eric Clapton. Nice. This isn't just the regular, everyday, ordinary Eric Clapton. Yep. And Jeff Beck, Crossroads. Now, I bet you everybody's wondering... Why are there post-it notes on here, right? Right. Well, the gentleman who owned this record before wrote down where these photos came from. And I, I did not want to take them off because it must have taken him a long time to figure this out. But I think he's missing two. So if you like to complete other people's projects, mm -hmm. it is an unofficial release. Yes. And it'll be one hell of a thing. And it was recorded live. It was live. Definitely. So that's a hell of a record to come by too. Yes, I completely mm -hmm. agree. This is a box. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is a great freaking box. Mm -hmm. It really is. <sighs> Man. Eric Boom. Clapton. With Sonny Boy Williams, some blues. Best of Cream with Eric Clapton. And that is an import. Ah. From France. 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 What's with all this French fries today? Probably Boo France. Oui, oui. Mon Cherie. Yeah. More Eric Clapton with Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page. And then we got Mickey Rourke Homeboy soundtrack, original score performed by Eric Clapton. Now there's just there's more than Eric Clapton on the score, mm -hmm. but he pretty much did most look, of the there song he is. work. Oh yeah, look there he is, Winky Dink. But like there's Magic Sam. I mean it, it, there's some Eric other Clapton, people on there. The breaks. Yeah, Eric Clapton. <laughs> yeah. Eric Clapton. So I mean if you're into Clapton you mm -hmm. and you don't have that one, you need it. Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. Double Trouble. Double Trouble. Don't you love freaking Stevie Ray Vaughan? I love Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yeah. I really do. Bon, 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 and the auto bon. What? Craftwork. We've got Kraftwerk. Original copies. Did you know that they were formed in 1970 in Dusseldorf, Germany? Nine! Nine! Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf. What? That sounds mm -hmm. like it'd be in Harry Potter, does it? I does it not? I completely agree. I completely agree. Mm. Dusseldorf. Dumbledore. I was close. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. Same no. shit, different toilet. <gasps> What? Craft work. Nice. And then we got the clash. Cut the crap. Beautiful. The doors, LA Woman. 
Gen Genesis. Genius. Okay. It still goes through my head every time. Does it? Every Me time. too. Every, every time. time. She messed that up that one time, like three times in a row yeah, in one we, video. Yep. It was I horrible. edited the hell out of it. Yep. 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 I was like, yes, they were geniuses. Yes. Peter Gabriel with the melty face. Melty face. Another Peter Gabriel. So. so it's Peter so. Frampton. He was live. He was live. No, he's not. Yes, he was. He comes alive. Yes, that too. And let me tell you. I have not to this day ever seen a freaking copy so clean. It's an original in my life. And it feels so nice. Do you think it's because it's a club? <sighs> Maybe. Yeah, it feels so nice. If it, It's like somewhere in between a U.S. one and like a British import. Oh, it is ridiculous. It, it's, it's You are crazy. totally fondling him. I really am. Wow. <laughs> it was so nice. Mm. It was so nice. Milk those otters. <laughs> Rolling wow. stones. There you go. More Rolling Stones. Now, I believe this is a at least a third pressing. Yeah. Minimum. Yeah, at it's, minimum. It's it could be like a fifth pressing. Oh, I'm sure. You know, because we got no holes. Mick Jagger. Joe Jackson. And he was? Live! He was live! Two volumes. Or, or two, two records. Yep. Ah. Yes. Ooh, it 1980 is and 1986. Ooh, he was in Manchester and Sydney and Melbourne and Vancouver and Tokyo. And this is Vancouver. his uh, New Wave Power Pop album. That's crazy. Look, look, it's the Beat Crazy Tour and the Night and Day Tour and the Body and Soul Tour and the Big World Tour. Holy crap. So if you're into Joe Jackson, you got to get you this one. So there shouldn't be a dash, a, a slash, there should be a dash because it was 1980 to 1986. Mm. Crazy. Joe Jackson, David Bowie. Let's dance. David Bowie. There it is. Mm-hmm. Elton John. Janis Joplin. The Eagles, your favorite bathroom. <laughs> Cream songbook performed by the Rubber Band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really, that's the name of the band, the Rubber Band. The Rubber yes. Band. <laughs> Fine Young Cannibals. She drives me crazy. Ooh, ooh. Like no, no one, one else. else. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> More Fine Young Cannibals. Everything but the girl. The cars. Billy Joel. More Billy Joel? What? We were out of Billy Joel except for an original master yes. recording, weren't we? Yes, we were. Mm. Yes, yes, we were. That, he's just too great. I had to pull some of these suckers from the back, man. I know, we had to find them. Thomas Dolby. Weird science. Elvis Costello. Hugh Lewis on the News. Robert Plant. Georgia Satellites. Nice. John Lennon. Mitch Ryder. Where's the Detroit Wheels, man? Oh, hey. Where's the Detroit Wheels? What the heck is this? Them hubcap stealing bastards stole them. <laughs> Straight cats, man. They had something yep. to do with it, man. Always. <laughs> John Fogarty and another one. Les Miserables, the what? musical sensation. I like that movie, man. Yeah. Who's that dude? Hugh Jackman? Yeah. Yeah. You've seen that movie yet? I think I have. Mmm. Pretty epic. And I'm not one to like musicals. You like musicals? Yeah. You've seen that whole Les Miserables thing with... Uh... Yes, I did. <laughs> did you like it? Yeah. I freaking loved it, man. I thought it was crazy. Epic stuff. And Hathaway was so believable. I, yes. I like I it was couldn't get out of my mind for like days. Did you ever see the actual play? Yes, I did. Twice. What? Twice. Who took you? I'm gonna get him. Oh, oh. Just that. I wanna see Fan of the Opera. I you saw that twice was? too. I already know who I already know who took your mom. That's one of my favorite. You know who took the mom, oh, right? No. It's a freaking mailman, wasn't it? No, wow. it I'm gonna was get a that trip. No. <laughs> Cause I did French Club. <laughs> Yeah. Freddie King. <laughs> Burglar. Wow. Blues Roots with Jimmy Rogers. Right. Bessie Smith. What? Bessie Smith, who has the nickname of the Empress of the Blues. Empress. The Empress like of that. the Blues. And she is the best blues vocalist from the 20s and 30s. Really? Yes. All without right. a shadow of a doubt. Mm. Mm hmm. All right. I'm digging her. We got some more Bessie Smith and look at her fantastic hat because that was Prohibition times and they were just awesome. Oh man, she was in that speakeasy, wasn't she? Yes. Yes, she was. Mm. Uh-huh. All right. All right. I'm going to visit. I'm going to get my time traveling aliens on. Heavy heads. What? What is that? I don't know. I needed a minute to figure <laughs> out what it said. Electronically altered for stereo. Hold I'm on. still clueless. Oh, Muddy Waters, it's a comp. Howlin' Wolf, Little Walter. Oh, nice, nice. Little Milton, John oh, Lee Hooker, Sonny Boy Williams. <sighs> little Walter, nice. Fathers and Sons? Nope. No? Nope. nope. Okay. Muddy Waters. Muddy Waters. Oh, man. What? The Kings of Jazz, Part B. Now, this oh, is this Jazz Model. We have That's Part cool. A and Part B. What? Yeah. They're both imports from Europe. 
All right, all right. They look like they had a party. Oh, we got John Coltrane. Coltrane. Yep, we got Coltrane. Very cool. Awesome. Very cool. I was like, oh no, I did that wrong. Oh. The golden years. Now here's the problem with this one. It's a three volume. Uh huh. No booklet. Okay. Oh, man. I ate the booklet. Nah. -uh. Okay. I got yeah. hungry. Oh. I ate the booklet. That's pretty old, man. That's from eighty two. So. I don't recommend. I priced that all the way down. Well, I like I like the vintage. We're in twenty twenty. <laughs> There really are some really great songs on here, but it's hard to pick her golden years because she was also an amazing vocalist. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Rainforest. Walter Wanderley. Good job. Yep. I butchered his name. Yep. Chickenfield. Chickenfield. Whoa, Chickenfield. Chicken butt. <laughs> huh? She had that coming. Sorry. <laughs> Life stories. Earl, Earl Klug. Klug. Sato Wannabe? Watanabe? Wow. <laughs> I'm trying. I want to be an American idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we got Frank Sinatra swinging sessions. Frankie, baby. Frank Sinatra. Thomas. Yeah. Escobar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Disco. <laughs> Disco Inferno. Burn, burn baby, baby burn. burn. Burn the Coke. I'm just saying, that was his name. The Four Tops. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Puff the magic And then we've got some classical, because we are definitely working on your classical section. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I want to build a giant classical mm -hmm. section. Yeah, so look at all my classical, because I got Wagner. Unfortunately, I priced these suckers all the way down, so I don't think they're going to last. Vivaldi. Schubert. Schumann. Yo, know, she had my sister do a whole classical. Brahms. Brahms. She claimed she claimed to really like it. It's too spread out. I can't read it. Rick Swanson. It's modern classical. Ah, Ooh, it's a sampler. From Ooh. American Gramophone. Ah, fresh air. Oh, it's Christmas music. <laughs> a Christmas scene <laughs> with Bing around the world with Bing freaking Crosby. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, you know something, right? What? Now I'm going to need a poll. Okay. Pick something, anything. Better be new because I want to promote spinmearoundstore.com. Okay. okay. You in this? Anything, something new. Doesn't matter what you pick. You can even pick these craft works, man. Ooh, see, our originals are cheaper than the reissues. Uh -huh. Wow. There's one bond, bond, bond in the auto bond. Nice. Oh, what are we working with here? I don't know. Oh, no idea. The killers, man. The killers. Got some stuff. Got Killing Joke. Yeah. Hey. Oh, King Crimson. Nice. Ah. Definitely got some King Crimson. King Gizzard. Oh, I think they're all, what the heck is going on here? I, I accidentally tapped her and then this whole thing happened. All right, all right. What you working with? What you got? <laughs> Superman, uh, Batman versus Superman. Got that backwards. Hmm. Batman versus Superman. Soundgarden. 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 What you working with? I just found it. It's a comp, but it has like the coolest stuff on it. Seattle Ooh, like Grunge. Bone. All right, yeah. Man, I picked Soundgarden. You weren't supposed to pick Soundgarden too. Well, yeah. Well, she got Pearl Jam too. Yeah, I I'm just that. saying. So I on the bottom, <laughs> on the bottom of the screen, in the comment section, let us know who won this epic freaking poll. Is it her Seattle Grunge live? They were live, 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 live. Her Soundgarden. Ooh, that's the, one of the best Soundgarden records mm -hmm. in my opinion ever. Or you got this magnificent comp, Batman vs Superman. Dawn of Justice. Let us know down in the comments who would win that fight. Oh, I mean, <laughs> let, us the, let us know down in the comments who won this epic poll. I'm done. What are we working with in here? We got 45. 40 what? 45s, awesome 45s from the 80s, like Asia. Asia? Asia. What? Mm-hmm. More Asia. Billy in Idol. the midnight hour. What? Blondie. Ooh. More Blondie, Bob Seger. Bon Jovi, David Bowie. Now that's the most rarest one in here. What? Because that is Whoa. the man who sold the world and Space Oddity. Wow. What? Wow. Do -do -do -do. David Bowie. Nice. David Bowie, let's dance. What? Let's dance. <laughs> let's dance. I can't do that. I love it. <laughs> dire Straits. More Dire Straits. What? And more Dire Straits. Duran Duran. Duran. Is that the poster one? Or not yet? No. no not yet. You'll Dr see it. Duran Duran. And Duran Bam. Duran with my poster. Nice. It folds out to be a giant poster. Which is awesome. Yes. That's all it's That's yep. it. Eagles. Eagles. Please come home for Christmas. Elton John. Elton John. 
more Elton John. Elton John? Elton John? Have more Elton John. Fleetwood Mac? Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Squeeze me. <laughs> what? There's all man flock of seagulls. Oh man. You gotta hit him with the beard. Oh. <laughs> I ain't got no mirror. <laughs> a flock of seagulls? That's right. Foreigner? Gary Puckett? Gary Puckett says fuck it. Oh. <laughs> no, Gary Puckett in the Union Gap. Yeah, I know. I know. U.S. Gary Bonds. Or Gary U.S. Bonds. <laughs> God, who is that turkey? <laughs> she had to look up like, oh. <laughs> a Glenn Fry? Uh, the Go Go's? Vacation. Go -Go's. No, I'm it. Vacation, have to get Go -Go's. away. Yeah. Hugh Lewis and the News. Hugh Lewis and the News. Upper oh, hands completely in the way. Stop. <laughs> Hugh Lewis and the News. Human League. Uh, Human League. Human League. Yeah. Jay Giles Band. I do. More Jay Giles Band. Oh, no. Now, if you want, you can just fix all those because, you know, this is going awry here. It's definitely becoming a poop show. That's right, with no toilet paper. It's getting They're pretty all messy. picture sleeves. Yeah, I the know. entire picture thing. Sleeves. Picture sleeves. Lots of picture sleeves. Jane and Dean. All right. Yeah. Uh, Joan Jett and Blackheart. Fake friends. Joan Jett. Joan Jett. Crimson and Clover. Over what? and over. Oh, jeez. Joan Jett. John Cougar Mellencamp. John Cougar Mellencamp. Oh, there's two. Oh, wait, no, they are different ones. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> John Cougar Mellencamp. Because the walls come crumbling what? down and the walls come crumbling, crumbling and the walls. Okay, you know who that is? <laughs> cool with the gang. Madonna. Crazy for you. Madonna. Like a virgin. Hey! Be. Touched for the very first time. Overkill. Nope. What? Unfortunately, men at work. work. Men at work. And it works. Those covers get crazy. Yep. Paul McCartney and, and Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Mm -hmm. hee -hee. Say, say, say. You so, skipped over a bunch there, Missy. Yes. Yeah. I want to say, oh, say, sorry. say. That's right. Hey, Interesting. And the girl is mine. Phil Collins. <laughs> Phil, Phil Collins. Collins. More Phil Collins. How could you tell? Is it the sweaty forehead that you love to lick? It's the police, not mm. me. Roxanne. The police. The police. And more of the police. The police. Queen. Queen. That's right. But it's just okay. Freddie Mercury. Oh, there they are. Uh -huh, I was a little uh -huh. upset for a second. Mm. Oreo Speedwagon. Nice. Robert Plant. It's a good plant. Robert More Robert Plant. Plant. <laughs> Rod Stewart. There he is. Rod Stewart. It's my homeboy. Jeff Beck and, and Rod, Rod Stewart. Stewart. Sheena Easton. Sheena Easton. Nice. Sting. Without the police. He ditched the police, Without man. Without the police. He ditched, he ditched them. There's a whole story behind this man that COVID messed up their whole freaking yep. reunion tour. Yep. I know. Unbelievable. Steve Perry. Stray cats. Those hubcat oh, yes. stealing bastards. Rock this town, rock it inside out. Is that the right song? No, it's the stray cats. Yeah, well, boom. What's that one? Oh, I Next was listening to that one. Stray cats. Sex, sex 17. 17. Looking better every day. Boom! Rock this town, rock it inside out. I knew it was coming. Sticks. 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 Oh, it's Mr. Mr. Roboto. Roboto. Oh, sorry, nice. downpouring. Thompson, Thompson twins. twins. More Thompson twins. And yet there's three of them. And they're not twins. Alien. Ooh, really Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Here's a little ditty. <laughs> About Jack and Diane. <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what that one, you know what that yes, is? Yes, song yes, yes, it was yes. Owner of, of a, a lonely, lonely heart. heart. Do, 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 do. Owner of a lonely ZZ heart. ZZ Top. That's right. It's all right. We, we got the good ZZ Top in here, too. More ZZ Top. More ZZ Top. She got legs. She knows how to use them. Yeah. 38 mm. Special. The wrestling one, right? The yep. wrestlers. Yeah. There's Mean Gene Oakland right there. Whoa. That's right. a blast from yeah. the past. Yeah. Look at that. It's been a while. Grandma got me over, but oh man. Look, look at him flexing on the freaking drums. And look at him singing. Oh my god. Well, you know something. You don't gotta smile so big. <laughs> Grandma got me <laughs> over by a reindeer. reindeer. Coming home from our house Christmas Eve. I think she was staring at some wrestlers who were naked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a grandma. <laughs> USA for <laughs> Africa. And don't you know it's Christmas? And then we've got Almost Paradise. Almost Paradise! Who's knocking on heaven's door? Okay, interesting. 
And not bad, right? Not bad? 45s? No. You know what I gotta say about that? What? I'm done. Buddy, how was your day in the record store? Good. Yeah, did you have fun? Yeah. You didn't like Jimi Hendrix though, huh? No. Mmm, I gotta play you the right stuff and I think you'd really appreciate Jimmy. Nah. I think you, I think you would. <laughs> no, How was your day in the record store? It was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, pretty busy. Yeah, gotta help okay. a lot of people with Christmas stuff, which is why it's my favorite time of the year. I gotta say it wasn't as busy as yesterday though. No, it wasn't. I still gotta help a lot of people yesterday. It's my favorite part about the holidays. I get to help people pick up presents. Well, that's a beautiful thing. How was your time in the record store today? It was alright. Yeah? Now you were here for a short period of time. Did you have fun? Of course. You came, you saw, you kicked it. Something? No. Aliens. Do -do -do -do. Mm -hmm. It's time to go, but you know something? I ain't let nobody through this door. I'm Daddy, taking my stance. Hey. Where you going? Where you going? Hey, go. Oh, oh, oh. Rabies, rabies. Oh, oh. I'm just saying. Rabies? How was your time in the record store? It was an awesome day. It really was. All right. All okay. Right. No but now they got to leave us a comment and let us know what the favorite record in that box was because we had some really awesome stuff. They got to give us a like, a big old thumbs up because everyone likes a thumbs up because when you do good, you get good. And then they have to what? subscribe. Huh? Subscribe. What? Subscribe. Are you sure? Yeah. Ring what? that bell. Ding, ding, ding. ding, ding. ding. We do a video like this all and we'll see you soon. Is that close? Yeah, we do a video like this a lot, and we'll oh, see you man. soon. It's pretty much every day, every other day, something yeah, like that. Yep, a lot. Aliens, a lot. Cool you here. better go there, buy your records, because, you know, I got, yeah. a, lot of, I got a lot of hungry kids to feed. And also, <laughs> it's freezing outside. Yeah, it's freezing, man. We're cold, man. It's cold as ice.